Hi, this is Mary from Open Helix with this week's video tip of the week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, please be sure to come back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resource I'm talking about, links to publications associated with it, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. Today's tip is going to be a new feature that's been provided by the team at the UCSC Genome Browser. On the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, they released this new feature, and I'm worried that people might not know about it, but it's a really cool option. So I wanted to give you this little tip on how to access this new feature that's available. So Max Hausler, the developer here, has provided a way for you to take sequences from the graphical viewer and send it to other tools that might be useful for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how that works right now. What I'm going to do is go from the homepage at genome.ucsc.edu. I'm going to go to the Genome Browser Gateway. Here we are in the gateway. If you've used the, the browser before, this part will be familiar. You can come back later and try it with your own sequences of interest, your own regions of interest. But right now, I'm just going to take the default settings that are available here for the human current assembly, this region in the genome. I'll click Submit, and that will give us a graphical browser to try out. So we find ourselves in the ABO region here on chromosome 9, and this is the span of the sequences here at chromosome 9. So this coordinate range here, starting coordinates and coordinates, show us what's in this window right here. In our longer training, we provide a number of different ways for you to access the sequences, the AHEs, Gs, and Cs themselves. But in this case, I'll show you how we gather the sequence from this range right here and quickly send it to other tools. One of the things that you could do is you could take the view DNA option to get the DNA, and that would give you a text output of that sequence. But what I'm going to illustrate today is this other feature, this new feature, get this view in external tools. So I'll click that now and show you what the options are there. So some of the tools were available before. You can see here you could send the same region over to look at them in the NCBI Map Viewer or the Ensemble Genome Browser as well. But in addition now, there are a lot of other tools that you might find useful. You can design primers here, you can look at restriction enzyme cutting, you can look at protein domains, you can look for CRISPR targets. And there are a number of different ways to do this. Now, some of them may not be available for you unless the sequence size in your window is appropriate, and that guidance is provided here with the specific tools. But for now, I'm just gonna take the sequence that we had in our window and show you a couple of examples. First, I'll click this primer blast. And what this is doing is it's taking that sequence that was in our window, and it's now sending it over to NCBI to use the Primer Blast tool to obtain potential primers that might be useful for us. So you'll see that it will load over here, and it will take a, a little while to get into the queue. And after that, it will run that sequence that we had looking for appropriate primers with the Primer Blast tool. I won't show you this while it's waiting the whole time. I will pause the video and let this run. I'll come back when it's completed the run. So here we are with the results from Primer Blast to choose primers that might be suitable for your sequence that was provided. Here we can see them all listed. So that gives you one example of the types of things you can do from the, the view and external tools menu options here. Another one I'll try just quickly is the NEB cutter. You can actually look at the restriction enzymes in the UCSC Genome Browser, but you might like this graphical representation here at NEB to look at potential restriction enzymes that are cutting in the region that you're focusing on, in this case, the one that we sent from the UCSC Genome Browser. As you can see, there are other tools available as well. I won't go through them all, but here now you can see how you can access these external tools right from the graphical interface that we were looking at. So you can take sequences right from the graphical interface and now you can send them over to these other tools. Why don't you try it out? Go to the UCSC Genome Browser, open that menu, once again, the View in External Tools menu, and try these out. If you have suggestions about other tools that would be really useful for you to have as you're browsing around these genomic regions, Max would love to hear more about that as well. So either let me know or send a letter to the UCSC Genome Browser team and they would be interested in hearing what other tools would be useful for you from that menu option. Check it out. Thanks very much for your time.